And now back to the Gunsmith Show with John and Jake Smith. If you'd like to talk to John or Jake, call now, 810-743-8255. Going. Look. Hey, uh, we are back, and things are rocking here in the studio this morning. Jake says i got to calm down. I don't know. I, I kind of like being rowdy in the morning. You're on. I got you. I can hear you, buddy. Now, we have got, uh, we just got a call from BJ here in the studio. Yes. And I want to let him know, BJ, we're working with Tim uh, our attorney, getting him back on, we'll have a, a one-hour answer fest with him it's coming up real soon. Now, what's going on there, though, is um, uh, Tim is very busy today, uh, or we might have even got him on today, but he's helping to run the Run Like a Wildebeest race in Flushing this morning, and, uh, and, a, and a bunch of other folks from the Thomas Smith Memorial Foundation are out there because uh, they're taking care of us, so uh, they're... Another big fundraiser. We got another big fundraiser coming up today too. So for all you running in like a wildebeest this morning, God bless you. Be careful out there. And then the, those of you that are getting ready for the big shoot out at the Grand Blank Huntsman Club today um, for the Shane Holton Memorial Shoot, first annual. Uh, all the proceeds benefit Thomas Smith Memorial Foundation. Going to be a great time. Uh, we're going to be out at the Huntsman Club from about noon on today. Jake and I will be there all afternoon, and uh, Mrs. Smith will be out there shortly. So we're having a busy, busy, busy weekend, and we'll be out there all day tomorrow too. So going to be doing a lot of clay busting this weekend. So, BJ, your answer is we'll be talking about the DOC with... DOC is Department of Corrections. Right. Uh, or darn old coffee, then you dump it down the drain. You know what my anyways, best advice is for the DOC? What's that? Don't ever even get involved with them. <laughs> Do the right thing so you don't have to be strip searched by them. <laughs> don't need to be transported on a DOC bus to somewhere in Lapeer, Jackson. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, folks, it is the weekend. And what does the weekend bring? It brings a good chance to get out and enjoy this sport of shooting. It's going to be a great day for it. Now, you've got uh, maybe you're just in the mood to go gun shopping today. Well, after you go to Williams... You want to take a quick run out to Grand Rapids? It's only 120 miles away. Scoot over to Grand Rapids, go to the 28th Street Showcase, uh, Showplace, and you're going to see Sports Show Promotions Gun Show. So we always recommend getting out to those if you get a chance. Jacob, what is next on the agenda on this show for today? Can we finally talk about guns? Oh, we haven't been talking about guns? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, we're, we're talking about the new Sig Sauer P320. You know... I love the way this gun, the 250 series, feels, and this is going to have the same feel. I can tell already mm -hmm. by looking at the pictures. It almost seems to be a new 250. I think that's what it is. It's going to be an enhanced 250, enhanced in ways to make it more adaptable to maybe professional use. Yeah. You know, the original 250s, weren't they the big Laura Croft? thing or no, something that there. no i have no idea one of those one of those movies everybody in it had 250s the sig 250s what we're talking about it's a really cool looking feeling gun and all the backfire i got from it was yeah sig doesn't have this one figured out quite right yet i wouldn't i wouldn't latch onto this you know sled going downhill yet so we held off i was ready to buy two actually three years ago uh, November of 11, I was ready to pull the trigger and get the 250. I wanted a 250 and 45. I love the feel of it. And I'll uh, maybe this 320 is the one that'll that'll change my mind. Well, let's talk a little bit about it. This one was completely designed with the input from law enforcement all across the United States. And uh, they, they said, what do you want to do to make this an operator safety focused striker duty pistol? Woo. That's a lot of big words. Yes. <laughs> but they say that now it has become the the best striker fired pistol on the market. Really? Yeah. That's a that's a tough thing to say going up against Glock and it, yeah. Yeah, it's a tough thing to say. Um but what makes this one stand out from the other handguns? Well, it has the name of SIG on the side of it. That helps. Yes. But it has a, a probably a heck of a track record, even it, though it doesn't have one yet. Much like how a Glock has no external safeties, yes. SIG is now going to having five internal safeties. Hmm. Five? Well, we'll just find out about it here. Yeah. Uh, it has a striker safety, 
It looks a little bit like a RoboCop gun, to it, be honest it, with That's you. exactly it what I thought It does have that RoboCop appeal. It has a disconnect safety. There's a three-point tank down safety. Takedown cannot be done without removing the magazine. Which is safe. Yep. For, I mean, that's a lot of people get hurt. And working with a gun they think is unloaded. The slide cannot be locked open while the gun is being taken down. Now, and they said the only, the, the main thing is they don't want you to have to pull the trigger when you're when you're tearing this gun apart. Yeah, you got to do that with a Glock. So it's, you don't even have to touch the trigger. It all relies on one lever and the whole gun comes apart with one twist of a leather, leather, lever. lever. Yep. Yep. Um, and that's what they think makes it the safest gun in the market. Hmm. That you well, don't have to pull the trigger when you take the gun apart. I, that has always been one of those things with me. When you understand how to take a Glock apart, and I learned 20 years ago how to do it, uh, when you start taking them things apart, you re- I've always hated dry firing a gun, and basically you have to do it, taking a Glock apart. So it might be a good concept. But this is the, the cool thing is SIG has come out with this modular frame situation. It's like having four or five guns in one. Yeah. Uh, this gun will be adaptable from 9 millimeter, uh, 40 cal, 357 SIG, and 45 ACP. That's right. So it has a tremendous appeal to those who want the one gun. You know, it's kind of like getting the, the best cordless drill you can get that's adaptable for everything in, under the sun. Uh, but not only can you switch... The caliber, just by switching the barrels and that, but you can also switch the frame from the compact to a full size, to a full size, or from full size to compact. So they're trying, and to get you can that switch barrel lengths from four and a half to four, and slides from four and a half to four. So you can have that one frame. You can buy, you know, you can go out and buy the 320 in the full size 40 cal, and then you can go out and you can buy the compact frame in the 357 sig barrel. And, and they're they're hitting that same market with like the Glock with the four point seven inch barrel. They want you to have that, they want you to have that duty size pistol, but then offering that four inch barrel, it, 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 they're covering they're covering the whole spectrum. They I think are. they've got a. I think their marketing ploy on this one is done well. It comes with a Sig Light night sights, which is really really good. You know, I've, I've got them on one gun. I like them a lot. Uh, they do glow very good. You can charge them real quick with a uh, flashlight. Yeah. Just a quick charge with your, you know, with your, with your good LED flashlight, and bam, they're glowing. And uh, this gun has very smooth sides. It doesn't have that traditional Sig frame or Sig slide look. Yeah. But there's no safety on the outside of this gun unless you have the law enforcement version, which there is a safety. That's what I want to see because I personally like an external safety. I, I honestly, I do. You know. Um, that's always, I, I know a lot of old gun guys that don't like Glocks because they don't have the external safety at all. But then you say, yeah, but it does. It's on the trigger. And he said, you know, there are those the that hate your them. finger. Your safe is the Remington, safe. Is Remington is the perfect, the perfect example of how a safety on a gun does not mean that gun will not fire. On the Remington 700s. Yeah. You close the bolt, the gun might go off. That's why there's the recalls on them. Yep, and they're renewing the recalls again right now. Yep. So, uh, any and we posted that a couple weeks ago on Facebook. So, on our Facebook page, you'll find a lot of this stuff. So, yep. pay attention to it; it helps. Um, now, back to this thing: the slide finish is Nitron, which is a very, very popular finish on guns right now. It is impervious to just about everything. So, uh, and it's <laughs> the a, way you said impervious. It is. It's <laughs> just it's it's a tough doggone gun. So. Uh, the trigger pulls is uh, five and a half to seven and a half pounds, which is good. Yep, that's a that's going to be a good trigger. Uh, there is no single action trigger pull because there is no single action trigger. Okay, this thing is a double action only, and but with a striker fired, it's it's uh, it's nice. Like yep. I, we talked earlier about those u- the used guns at Williams, like the LDA pistols from Para Ordnance. Right. They have a, it's a it's like a 1911 with a striker fire on it. The uh, now the, the full size one, right now the 45 ACP is not out yet. They said right. it will be out later this year. Right. So there's no real information so, on that. So out there's yet. no reason to buy one yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> right now the 45. full size nine millimeter holds 17 rounds. Mm-hmm. 
and the forty and the three fifty seven sig both hold fourteen. But if you go down to the compact, uh, the nine millimeter holds fifteen, and the forty and the three fifty seven sig both hold thirteen. Well, it's not bad. So it's still a, a good amount of ammo you can carry. Sure. And uh, probably you know probably be a ten, maybe a twelve shot forty five. Well, I uh, May, if that's the way they continue to go. I like the look of it. Yeah, and you know who knows. I, I imagine a grip can't be much bigger, and so they're not going to be able to bust it out to like an FN where you're going to be holding fifteen. Well, they can't make the, they can't make the grip bigger and, because it has to has be interchangeable. The same, yeah. yeah. Well, pretty much, interesting. This is almost like an AR of the pistol world. I that's you know, and that's the whole key adaptability. You know, yeah. everybody wants to have that one gun that you know that one buy all. Well, sometimes you get that, sometimes you don't. But so I always buy two of everything. That way, I have. Twice as many as everybody else. What's the uh, what's the MSRP on these? Seven thirteen at this point for both of them. Yeah. Yep. So seven hundred and thirteen bucks, and so MSRP is a guideline. You're probably going to find these for six forty nine or something like that. Once you find them in the stores, right? Um, they usually hang out just a little bit under that. I'd say, you know, uh, about maybe ten percent less than MSRP is what you usually find them for sale for. Uh, SIGs are certainly worth their weight in gold as far as I'm concerned. So we'll have to get one of these out and test fire it quickly and find out what's going on. So uh, thanks for thanks for listening to us talk about the new SIG P320. You'll start in any of your gun publications, you're going to start seeing some news about you know, it. We're already seeing the ads for and it. I'm amazed, and, and I'm not knocking SIG, but there are so many handguns that SIG makes. That is a big, extensive line, they, that's for sure. And they keep coming out with new ones, and I don't see them dropping any old ones. Well, you unless know this plans to be a replacement for the 250. I, you know, I, I remember when Sig first came out with 1911s. Yeah, and I had a cop friend of mine that was just like, they have about 40 different 1911s yeah, they make. They now. do, yeah. and and this buddy of mine is a cop from uh, New Orleans, and he says there is not a finer 1911 on the market. And he says I'll, I'll put it up against anything out there, and one of the main reasons why is they like to have the the external extractor. You know, and it sold me on a, a 1911 too. When I, yep. you, remember, you saw me hold my first Sig 1911. I think you were with me when I when I when I picked it out and I held it and I went, oh, oh, this one's going with me. <laughs> you uh. know, it was about as simple as that. And uh, and retire some other 1911s and just use this one now. And then you caught on too. I remember your words to me. Dad, you're gonna become a Sig snob. Yeah, very clearly, Dad, you're gonna become a Sig snob now. And I said, no, no, I'm not. I just, but you know what? It works. When you get something that works, you stick with it, you know? Yep. So uh, you don't see me buying my power tools at Kmart. Not knocking power tools at Kmart. We're just saying. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> but anyways. Okay, then. <laughs> well, we got to go to commercial break. Now, listen, we are here. If you want to call us in the studio, 810-743-8255 or toll free 866 866- 533-1530. When we come back from this break, we're going to be talking about the new Browning Bolt Action A-Bolt 3, so stay tuned and learn some with us. All right. Let's talk about a private matter, insuring your guns. Do you know that your home insurance has limitations when it comes to insuring guns? To get the most out of a policy, you need to schedule your guns and collectibles. Zach Goodhart is the Farm Bureau insurance agent who understands guns and how to insure them properly. Zach is an avid sportsman that respects the value of your gun collection and will work with you to make sure you are covered. Contact Zach Goodhart from Farm Bureau at 810-391-2455. Zach is a board member of the local Safari Club International, a member of Pheasant Forever, and the NRA. Call Zach Goodhart today to protect your way of life at 810-391-2455. Attorney Tim Cassidy defends responsible gun owners. Do you need help with your CPL-related issues or have legal questions related to your gun rights? Attorney Tim Cassidy has over 15 years on the Genesee County Gun Board and many more years in practice. He can help you. Attorney Cassidy is also the professional who provides training to local groups and organizations on legal issues related to firearms and the use of force in self-defense. If you need an attorney who believes in the Second Amendment, you need Attorney Tim Cassidy at 810-569-5441. That's 810-569-5441 for responsible gun ownership legal help. Who's watching your home? Who's watching your business? Pal Burglar Alarm can watch them for you. 
They have over 30 years' experience protecting homes and businesses in mid-Michigan. PAL Burglar Alarm provides 24-hour monitoring service through their UL-listed monitoring center based right here in Michigan. They also offer armed guard services and no long-term contracts. Besides burglary protection, they can also monitor for flooding, sump pump failure, CO2 detection, temperature sensors to prevent pipes from freezing, panic, fire, and driveway alarms. PAL Burglar Alarm, a price you can live with. Call them today at 810-908-8298. That's 810-908-8298 or palalarm.com. And now back to the Gunsmith Show with John and Jake Smith. All right, we are back. You know, I can't emphasize enough. You listen to those commercials, and they're there for a reason. Real quickly, I just want to say, alarm your home. Alarm. Alarm. (laughs) Alarm your home. Alarm your safe. Alarm your screens. Alarm your everything. Get Pal Alarm out to your house. Get them to take care of you. Get your insurance in order. Get your guns properly insured. Don't think your homeowners and policy is just going to cover your guns. Have an attorney's card right behind your CPL in your wallet. Don't talk to the police. After you, if you've got to use your gun in self-defense, just hand them your insurance, your attorney's card, and let Tim take care of you. You know, and and do the right thing. Those those those, our advertisers are there for a reason. It's it's very good sense. Have an alarm. Have insurance. Have an attorney, and buy your guns at Williams. Simple as that. And listen to us every Saturday. Every Saturday. Li- and you can replay us you know what? all week long on YouTube. You can. Well, you can go to the GSS.com and go to our shows page, and you can listen to our past shows. There you go. I think right. it's almost like the old days of everybody gathers around the radio on Saturday mornings oh, and listens sure, to sure. Little Orphan Annie, but now yeah. we're now you can gather around the radio at 8 a.m. and yeah. listen to I Can Build That. No. At 10, and then 8 a.m. for the Gunsmith Show. <laughs> well, good, good lead-in. Now, just to make the ambiance work, open up a bottle of Hoppy's Number 9, set it next to your computer, so that you get that smell of that nitro solvent. Pour, I use it for cologne, you know. Pour the Crown Royal in the sippy cups and, <laughs> sip, and sit around the campfire. No, I'm talking about uh, Hoppy's Number 9, man. That's, oh. that's, that's, a, that's a manly smell Splash right there. Splash on you. Just brings back good memories of grandpa and dad cleaning guns and me learning how to take care of guns as a little kid. That was that was. I never I never had any guns growing up. So, oh, you, your nose is growing, <laughs> Pinocchio. Anyways, back to the Gunsmith Show. We've got lots to talk about. We're talking today about the new. We're talking about some new guns on the market. A B threes. Now, <laughs> it's easy as A B three. Uh, it's Browning's new bolt action rifle, the A B three. Now this is a, from the value platform from Browning. So this is going to be. A less expensive Browning. Right. Now, does that mean it's not your daddy's Oldsmobile? Probably not. It's it's gonna it's gonna have some bells and whistles because it's a Browning. Browning doesn't put any junk on the market. No, they don't. Um, so you should see it, the description on this. The way they explain the most common things to make them sound fancy and Browning like is great. Browning like. You know, everything, <laughs> when you think of Browning, you think of fine quality, but the way some of the stuff they described, well, like every every gun has a crown on the barrel. Yes. And it's the way it properly lets the gases leave and the and, barrel. And, and it and protects the, the rifling. Right. Right. Well. The crown is where the barrel ends. It's it, at the end of the barrel. The, the way they describe the te- the crown makes it sound like it's exclusive only to a Browning. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. But anyways, it's in the value platform. It, it's meant to compare, maybe to be... The same price group, but just a little bit better than the Marlin, the Rugers, the Savage. Thompson Center makes that new bolt action when it's affordable. You know. Uh, it, the Weatherby Vanguard. Yeah. It, the it, new it, Vanguard 2. It all boils down to how good the rifling is and you know, and how accurate of a platform it is. Yeah. And Browning doesn't usually mess around with that. No, they usually don't. And it's only available in a few cali- calibers. You know, you got your basics. Um, and that's something to remember that these guns are usually only put out it's not something you can go out and say i want it in 257 roberts no <laughs> not gonna happen well, let me check no 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 <laughs> that, it, no okay are you sure you don't have one in stock it's, it's gonna be in the right now they're only offering it in long action that's so right or 270s 30 out six 300 wind mag and seven millimeter magnum and the msrp on all of them the, yeah it doesn't caliber wise doesn't matter for nope. this but the msrp is all 599 so 
I'm sure they'll put together a good package with probably a. Uh, I can maybe, see. A, I can, I can see, see a scope a good, package a, for six hundred bucks. A Burris scope. Oh, well, and, not for six hundred, but anyway. But they do yeah. these packages. They'll, they'll probably throw a Bushnell on it and maybe get it a out there for okay. six hundred. You know. So, uh, but anyways, but what, what, it has the the black synthetic. Yeah, they actually caught the stalker model. Now, it, the stock, the silhouette of the stock looks exactly like an X bolt. It think. does. It's a it's a good looking stock. It's a good looking rifle. It's an all and, matte bluing, and it it always goes back to good rifling. It's got button rifling, which is what you're going to want for your accuracy in a in a in a good long range rifle. Uh, you're going to have. Uh, they said the barrel is also air gauged. Yes, and that ensures the proper finish. Well, you know, I, I think uh, the fit and finish on these this will probably be much much nicer than anything. Remington has in the low line. Oh, you know? I'm sure. I'm sure because those <laughs> those guns are. I looked at uh, that Remington. What is it? Seven seventy. Yeah, it used to be. It used to be the seven ten. Now it's a seven seventy. When I looked at the first one, I said, "Oh my gosh, I need a Dremel tool to take the sharp edges off this yeah. gun." You could you could slice your fingers well, open trying to change we, a bullet. We've all seen the Remington seven tens. They were we, the ones with that bright gray stock. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Bright gray stock. And they only came in like. Same thing, four to maybe eight calibers. Plastic trigger guard. Yep. And they said yep. if the trigger guard ever broke, it was more expensive to buy the stock than it was to buy the rifle right. again. Right. Because you can you can find those used all day long for two ninety nine now. Yep. And uh, personally, I, I I just I I wouldn't have one. I'm not a big Remington guy though. I like some of the expensive Remingtons, <laughs> but I don't like the cheap ones. No, I'm serious because they, they, I don't like to fit and finish. You know and and. Uh, I don't know. I just haven't been sold on it. So, uh, but anyways, back to back to this the gun, the Browning. It's a it's it's a good looking rifle. So so it does have that target type crown, so you'll and protect the end of your barrel. They Not said as if you're using it for a crotch when you're going through the woods or down a rocky path. You know, most people are very smart about the muzzle of their gun. Yep. You've learned at a young age. Hopefully, if you haven't learned yet, you need to always protect the muzzle of your gun. Always protect your gun. Yes, the gun is a tool. But it's not something that, you know, you don't put the barrel into the mud. You don't put, you know. Uh, you I don't always remember growing up that John Wayne movie, Rio Lobo. Yep. Where the bad guy uses the uses gun and a, stands a, up in the a, mud. Yeah. And he, he shoots and it explodes in his yeah. face. And he screams and hollers. and Yeah. yeah. Well, you see the pictures uh, of exploded guns quite often. You do. Uh, barrels that are busted wide open. This stuff happens. And uh, yeah, they're by the grace of God. It's never happened to us. But I tell you, it, it was all instilled uh, by a, a wise old man who died far too young. My father impressed me constantly by every morning when we went deer hunting, the flashlight shined down the barrel of the mm. shotgun or the rifles to make sure there was no obstructions. And you looked in that barrel and everybody's like, you know, why is your dad looking in that barrel? I said, to make sure when he pulls the trigger on that deer of a lifetime, that it doesn't kill them. Yeah. And uh, very important things. You know, I mean, these are very important things you do in life. These are, a gun is a tool that can hurt you very, very badly if you misuse it. Right. So whether you're shotgun shooting or, or plinking, or if you're going to the range to put, you know, 530 out sixes down range today, always protect the muzzle, protect the people around you, and be very, very mindful of such things. So... No, no. It the, has this. The A bolt three has a. Well, actually, I don't think it's called the A bolt three. It's called the AB three. Yeah, AB three. So it has a it has a standard three and a half pound trigger pull, which is beautiful. It has a free floating barrel. Anytime you get into a high powered rifle that has a trigger pull of more than four pounds, you probably should have it worked on. Right. You know, because if you're going to be trying to shoot an antelope at, you know, three hundred and sixty five yards with this with a seven millimeter magnum. You don't want to be pulling a four or four and a half pound trigger. You want it to be three to three and a half, maybe three and a quarter, and uh, and just in practice, and practice, and practice. It might get better with time, but uh, but chances are you might want to have it worked on a little bit. The uh, it is drilled and tapped for scope mounts, well, of course, because it comes with no sights. Right, and it, the bolt has the sixty degree bolt lift, which is very nice yes it is a very short bolt throw it it is easy to operate it's easy to have a big scope on top of and your bolt handle is not going to hit the scope uh like a lot of the old military rifles you just can't put a scope on top because of where the bolt 
goes up. So uh, that's why you have to have curved bolts. Um, now, the bolt handle on this, the whole thing has got a really nice look to it. Plus, it's got that forward uh, grip surface, which is nice. It's uh, If you've ever had or seen a, um, oh, I would compare it. The, the, the earliest gun I've seen with a handle like this was the Ruger 44 Carbine Sporter that has like finger grooves. Uh, it, it almost looks like a nice handrail for a staircase flipped upside down and yes. they put a barrel in it. So um, uh, very, very, I'm, I'm impressed with it so far. I, I'm not in the market for another bolt action rifle right now, but this is a nice looking rifle. And this is the time here to get them though, because you buy them now. Get your scope on it, or if you want to put it in layaway, you got 90 days to put it in layaway at Williams. And you know what? You can never say no to another 30 odd six. Oh, yes, I can. But but I might not. <laughs> it yeah. just depends on the mood. All right, we got to go to commercial break again. This hour is flying by, so hang on tight. The gunsmiths, we're coming back, and what are we talking about, Jake? Beretta shotguns. This is cool. So hang on tight. We're going to be talking about the new Beretta right after this short commercial break. Williams Gun Sight in Davison is the place to go for all your firearm, shooting accessories, hunting gear, and so much more. Plus, great gunsmiths in-house to take care of all your maintenance and customizing needs. But what you might not know, Williams has a great website, WilliamsGunSight.com. You can browse all their accessories, plus their huge selection of used guns. So definitely check out their website, WilliamsGunSight.com, and swing into the store, 7389 Lapeer Road, that's in Davison. Exit 143 off I-69. Throw Open Monday through Saturday, 9 until 6, and Sunday, 10 until 5. Williams Gunsight, on the range since 1926. Attorney Tim Cassidy defends responsible gun owners. Do you need help with your CPL-related issues or have legal questions related to your gun rights? Attorney Tim Cassidy has over 15 years on the Genesee County Gun Board and many more years in practice. He can help you. Attorney Cassidy is also the professional who provides training to local groups and organizations on legal issues related to firearms and the use of force in self-defense. If you need an attorney who believes in the Second Amendment, you need Attorney Tim Cassidy at 810-569-5441. That's 810-569-5441 for responsible gun ownership legal help. Pal Burglar Alarm is your local home and business security provider where you deal directly with the owner with over 30 years experience protecting families and businesses throughout mid-Michigan. Their systems start as low as $99 for a basic starter system. Monthly monitoring rates start at $18 provided by their Michigan-based 24-hour UL listed monitoring center. Don't be a statistic. Be proactive. Protect your family and valuables today with a security system from Pal Burglar Alarm, 810-908-8298, 810-908-8298, or palalarm.com. And now back to the Gunsmith Show with John and Jake Smith. If you'd like to talk to John or Jake, call now, 810-743-8255. All right, we are back. Uh, and we are live in, here in the studio. If you need to call us, just feel free to give us a buzz. But we have got another really, really good new gun to talk about on uh, today's show. This is a new, a new, brand new gun from Beretta. It is. And uh, Beretta's always had some, you know, just fine guns. One of the oldest gun manufacturers in the world. Now, that doesn't mean that they've fallen behind the times. They've been they, making guns since there was only bows and arrows. Yeah, no kidding. They were early, Does that make early. sense? I think so. They were, they're very, very old gun makers. Yes, they and, are. And uh, this one is really neat, though. This is a new shotgun they've come out with. I think, you know, when, you know how some people get tired of, why does every gun magazine have a 1911 on the front of it? Or why does it have an AR-15 on the front of it? Well, in the past few years, tactical shotguns and high-end shotguns, especially the duck hunting ones, the three-and-a-half-inch guns and the three-inch guns, these things are on, they get a lot of forefront. They get a lot of news coverage when they come out with these guns. They are expensive, and it has become like, you know, when you go to the car dealership and you want to leave with the new Corvette. Yeah. It's kind of how these guns have gotten. The Benelli's are, you know, 1700 to $2,500 guns. Uh in, in the, we the, talked the, about the Benelli M4 two weeks ago. Yes, we did. And that, yeah, and just they're, they're expensive guns. Crazy. Well, Beretta come out with this new one, and it's called the A400 Extreme Unico Synthetic. Okay, now this thing is, it 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 is actually 
a beautiful gun. I mean, and, as far as I when I see a gun, I don't look. I don't always look at a gun and say, "Oh, it's got such beautiful walnut on it." And it's but this thing, form and function wise, and I haven't even held one yet. I looked at that and it just intrigued me. Now some of the, some of these Benelli's I look at, it just I don't have that feeling when I look at them. This one has a classic shotgun look with some coloration that I like, synthetics, and it actually has a green finish on the metal. They call it the most the most advanced semi-auto synthetic shotgun of its kind. Wow. Well, it's pretty exciting. Now this thing shoots. It feeds all ammo. Yes. Now the the key is it when we, when we start seeing them at the range, we start shooting them. Does it feed them all well? That's the key. So when you buy these guns and they don't work as, as you want, that gets pretty upsetting. Especially if you're a trap shooter or, or skeet and sporting clays. Does it really shoot the two and three quarter all the way to three and a half inch shells good? Well, they say it does. So, uh, and I imagine with this price tag, it probably does. But you, tell them the cool part. How fast does this thing shoot? This, the A400 will fire four shots in less than one second. One second. That's fast. One second. Four shots. Four shots. They said that by the time your friends have brought the gun back down on the bird, you will already have fired your third shot. <laughs> well, it's um, What's pretty, that tell you? pretty impressive fast gun. Now, I've always been a enjoyed shooting shotguns. I, I've right. always loved shooting shotguns. Uh I'm pretty interested in this gun. This one looks like it's going to be a nice one. So now it is I, like all these guns, they balance them out so well. It's hard to believe. Now they, they say they've really, really done some things to uh, give you not a lot of felt recoil. It's amazing. The, 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 the things that have been done to this gun, they say it's reduced the recoil by 70%. 70% reduced recoil. You've already got a little bit of less recoil because it's a semi-auto and it absorbs the gases and, and all the actions used to make it function. Right. But they say they've reduced it by 70%. They've added they've added a different butt pad to it. They've added more absorbing things throughout the stock. This is We're talking about the Beretta A400. It's a brand new gun. You probably haven't seen it yet because it's that new. Uh, but it is going to be hitting the market here real quick. And so you know what's another item I noticed about it? They say it's got a rail built in to the top of the receiver yep. for optics for hunting. Well, you know you got it's a three and a half inch shotgun it's in a twelve gauge I, or even in a twenty. I mean, what a monster deer I, hunting gun or turkey gun this would be. I could see putting our oh EOTech side our on EOTech side on this <laughs> and using it for bird for for oh, duck. Oh, for, well, or, or duck for turkey. Or turkey. Oh, three and a half inch turkey gun. Could you imagine the range? But, you know, this is what we've talked about today. The SIG P320, yep. completely compatible with five different, four different rounds of ammo. Right. Now you've got this completely compatible with basically any 12-gauge shell on the market. Yeah, supposedly, yep. I don't know how they do it, you know, because there's such a different felt recoil between a 3.5-inch Magnum and a 2 and three quarter inch light yeah, load. Don't sneak one of those in there when you're shooting <laughs> trap. <laughs> no, you wouldn't want to do that. It does come with tubes. Yes. Uh, it is. It has an anodized the, the, finish. They call it their Aqua, Aquatech finish. I like the look of this. I mean, It's this almost is, a green. Well, you know, I wonder if it's anything like the Duratouch or if it's, but they say it's anodized. Duratouch is a coating. Anodized is embedded right in the metal. Yeah. And uh, it is, so I, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this one. Now, the MSRP is not terrible. It's seventeen forty-five, one thousand seven hundred and forty-five dollars. I say it's not terrible because you have to compare it to the other guns out there. Yeah, there's a lot of twenty-four, twenty-five hundred dollars shotguns, and there's tw there's twenty-five thousand dollars shotguns out there. Yeah, there's, yeah. So I mean, you know, this is not a proxy. This is a duty gun that I'm sure they're going to come up with a, a shorter combat I'm style. Sure, of this and they one. do. They already have. Okay. This right. is actually the a 400s a lineup that they've had for. A little while now. Yeah. But this is a new one with this anodized, yeah, anodized impervious finish. finish. It, it is black, but it all also does come in camouflage. Uh, but they do have, you know, a couple, a shorter barrel. They've got some longer, ver you know. But this is the one, it's the new one with the aqua touch yeah. finish. Well, and one of the things that I'm I looking forward to seeing, I nobody likes to get bruised when you're out shooting a gun, but let's let's face it, we do get bruised. I'm actually on medication. I get bruised when I look at things. But uh, 
but this has got a it's called a micro core butt pad ultra soft micro core butt pad it's about two inches thick it looks like well if it's as long as it's shoulderable and you can get the gun up and down quick that works some of these butt pads are ridiculous and they're so soft they grab your clothes and uh i you know it's it's like i like going back to just shotguns that don't kick too bad you know especially in the semi-autos a good semi-auto doesn't have to have a real good butt pad, a real right. soft butt pad. It can be a hard butt pad. Your, your Smith & Wesson Model 1000. My Smith & Wesson, actually my wife's Smith & Wesson 1000. Plastic butt pad, and the recoil is so light that that you have nothing to worry about anyway. So you don't have to have a, a, a big soft recoil pad on a, on a vehicle that you know isn't, isn't that punishing to you. So... Lots of good guns we talked about today. I hope you got a kick out of it a little bit. I would like to give away uh, a, a coffee mug or two today, but I, I think we're going to do it on Facebook. We're going to we notify are. people on Facebook and let them know. We gave away two last week, and uh, and did we get that one out in the mail? to? The Not yet. Okay, sorry about that. We're a little behind. We had a busy week. We finished up our gun raffle for the Knights of Columbus this week. And I got to disperse those guns uh, probably the first part of next week if you're listening. If you didn't get a call, don't worry, I didn't uh, either. Yeah, I know. Sorry, guys. I knew a lot of people gave and a lot of people hoped, and uh, there was five winners. So those five winners have been notified. And uh, but thanks for all the support. If you want to get out and see us today, come on out to the Huntsman Club in Grand Blanc. Bring your shotguns. It's on South Irish Road. South Irish Road, just south of Hill. Yes, I think it's just south of Hill. No. What road is that? I don't remember. It is Hill Road. I think it is Hill Road. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember what road it's off of. But anyways, uh, no, no. No. Alice. McClandish. McClandish Road. Thank there you, you go. McClandish. I'm not a grand blank person. No, sorry. well, that's okay. So anyways, uh, we've got the Shane Holt Memorial shoot going on out there today. Come out for a great cause. Uh, help us save lives and have a have a great time. It's a $20 skeet shoot you know you he, can't beat that with lunches there lunches are five bucks and they've got lunches served and the in the the gift packages and the and the in the uh um raffles you can get into out there come on out and enjoy and uh spend some quality time with us this afternoon we won't get there till about noon uh but it is open right now if you only have time this morning to get out and shoot stop down and see them register tell them you're there to uh, from the gunsmith show and you want to get into the uh shane holton memorial shoot uh, and all the proceeds are going to help Tommy'sHeart.org. So come on out and see us. Now next week uh, we're going to have a great show here. Again, we'll be live in studio. Yes. And uh, we've got some really more cool stuff we're going to talk about. So we're looking forward to seeing you next week here at the same time, same place. Uh, we have a SIG challenge coming up though for next week. What's that? We want to see your SIG and your holster, whatever. We want you to post your picture of your SIG on our Facebook page. Oh yeah. That's how we're going to pick one of our winners this week. We're going to show your sig and let's see who's got the coolest sig out there go to the gunsmith show on facebook that's the gunsmith show we're on facebook you can like our page post your pictures on there and uh if you want to you can always go to our website as well it's the gss.com that's where you can find the links to our past shows right we have printable targets and our information on there you know our targets are nice too we were using them just the other night they're easy to see uh, and you have several options on those targets. You can, and you just hit print when you get on there on your computer and, and print out targets. Exactly. So uh, save you some money, and uh, and you can. They're not pictures of us, so don't. No. You know, not like you're going to shoot our faces or anything. But and if you want to email us, if you got a question, you can always send us an email at shooter at the gss dot com. Awesome. That's our information. Oh, you can also send us a letter. PO Box forty five, Flushing, Michigan four eight four three three. Very good. That's all right. for all. That's from. I'm Jacob. I'm John. Have a great week. Shoot straight. Be good Americans and uh, become excellent marksmen. Have a great week, folks. See you next week.